hello viewers and subscribers welcome back to another video you know for today's lesson we'll be looking at data communication so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and subscribe right now people click on you know thumbs up and click on the notification button so you'll be notified when i upload the video so with that being said let's begin What is data communication now you know this is a process of transmitting data and information over communication media such as a telephone line coaxial cable fiber optic cable or microwave from a computer to a user or from a user to another user so there's different methods of transferring these data people right transmission medias are cables and signaling methods that carries data communication from one place to another in a network now the media you use completely depend on the distance of the data to be transmitted people now transmission media falls into two groups basically so you have cable or wired and you also have wireless transmission now as for wired or cable transmission you know computers are linked by cables basically so over a short communication distance now there are three choices of linking these computers together or linking different devices together all right twisted pairs you have coaxial cable and i also have what they call your fiber optic cable so we're going to look at them individually so we can have a better understanding of how this cable looks and how they work basically now a twisted pair cable is made by intertwining two separate insulated wires. Now people, the twist or laser are varied in length to reduce the potential for signal interference between these pairs because you don't want to be using it now and then there's a lot of disruption. Then if you're using it to transmit internet connection then you, you might realize that the connection logs or it, it slows or the signal keeps dropping and so forth. So you might want to pay attention to the length that you're using between the devices to connect them. Then your coaxial cable now. So this is a copper wire covered in a very thick layer of insulation. Now it provides faster transmission speed than the twisted pierce people. Now these cables are connected to your cable television providers and one medium used to connect computers in a local ear network as well. So it can also you know be used to transmit sounds voice videos across the network so most of the telecommunication companies would use a coaxial cable now we have the fiber optic cable and this type of cable is the fastest of, of all the three all right so it's faster than the twisted pair and it's faster than the coaxial cable why because large volumes of data can be transmitted at the speed of light through this cable now this type of cable uses glass tube threads or fiber to transmit data now it is best for use in wide area networks so we're thinking about a city or a country right there and metropolitan area networks you're thinking about a town right now the tiny threads of glass tubes are about the size of a human ear so it's that small people so imagine that with, with a single chandelier here the whole entire bible can be transmitted in only one second people it's that fast so we're talking about the speed of light here then you also have your wireless transmission media now no wireless transmission media refers to a form of unguided or wire wireless media that does not require the establishment of physical links between two or more devices so that therefore means that there's no physical connection there's no wires there's nothing it's basically here so a wireless connection uses electromagnetic waves right so these electromagnetic waves include like your microwave infrared and satellite so we're going to look on each of these different transmission media right now so you can have a better understanding so microwave now these are very high frequency signal that can be transmitted through space now in this communication channel people the medium is not a solid substance itself but what it is air itself people so that therefore means a microwave is good medium for sending data between buildings in a city or on a large campus basically a 
controllers for infrared infrared transmission used in remote controllers for television and other domestic devices so for example your dvd vcr and so forth would use infrared technology or even your video game with your remote control so it is occasionally used in a computer system for example when controlling robots now look at the image there you can see that remote control is being used to control a tv here and you see that it is pointed directly towards the tv right so you basically need clear space for signals to travel now there are two types of infrared you have a line of sight and scattered now the image there would reflect a line of sight kind of transmission because you can see that remote is being pointed directly to the tv there right however for scattered now it would be the signal probably bouncing off like like a wall if, if there's a reflection there also a mirror right so signal could bounce off a mirror because a mirror would provide a reflection and then you have your satellite now this is a man-made equipment that orbits around the earth or the moon now it acts as a relay station in outer space and it accepts signal beams people to it from a point on earth and then reflects the signal beam to another point now it can transmit data that include text voice pictures and videos and a network of three satellites can basically cover the whole entire earth so there is there, there if not thousands or hundreds sorry of, of satellites in space right now that's orbiting the earth and providing and providing signals to and from and relaying back the information back to us so you can see in that image there you see he's receiving data and sending back data back to earth other wireless media out there is like your bluetooth so a bluetooth is a wireless technology that exchange data between different devices so you can use it to, to, to send a music file or, or a picture from a phone to another phone they can use it to con connect to your headset if you're using an earpods earbuds or a headphone you can use it as well you can use it to connect your, your your phone to your laptops or basically any device that has a bluetooth your phone to your car radio and so forth so that's another widely used wireless technology over there